there is a war going on the Toho fandom. Two forces are colliding. Two ideologies are at war. Who will win? If you don't know the context of the Moriya Shrine drama, I suggest you watch my video about that. There is a thingy on the top right for you to click on. Anyways, there are big things happening that are getting buried under this cesspool of dumb, pointless drama that no one is really talking about. Before I continue, I don't want to name names, name groups, group groups, or group names. Whatever that means. So I'm just gonna generalize the two sides involved. I'll call the two groups, the Copyright Crusaders and the Mirror and Pirates. Cringe, I know. Copyright Crusaders wanted to capitalize on the loss of official works and now want to take down all the pirated Toho content on Moria Shine. This includes fan games, manga, and music. And then, they escalated it even further. Now they want to take down all the website. They do this by asking the circles who made the fan works if they want their work to be taken down from the websites. And if the circles said yes, they'll send a DMC letter on their behalf. Their end goal is basically to take down all piety content and make it easy for foreigners to buy femworks, so the money would go to their creators. It's quite a noble and ambitious goal. I respect them. They are having some trouble doing all of this quickly though. The process is really, really slow. Contacting circles, waiting for their reply, sending the DMCA letter to the websites, waiting for them to see it and respond accordingly. For reference, it took Maria Shine one year from receiving the Dempsey letter for them to actually respond to it. The Mirror and Pirates got a hold of what the copyright procedures were doing, so they responded with doing what pirates do, which is pirating. They are downloading and buying everything. All the Toho fan works, the official works, all of it. To put their operations into scale, their current Toho music collection is over 2 terabytes and has over a year of non-stop playtime. Like, one year of non-stop Toho music. Drive on that point, one year is about 8,766 hours. Or, this amount of minutes of non-stop Toho music. Like, jeez, that's a lot. And that's just the music though. They are really dedicated. So their end goal is to basically compile all the works into one big mega download. So, it'll be easy for people to pirate all the Toho content and get them for free. I would assume that this super big mega download is probably going to be 3 terabytes big. They also want to archive all these works because there are a lot of circles that have been disbanded or no longer exist. And there's no legit way of getting copies from them. I really resonate with this reason because one of my favorite bands called Forbrand Eclipse disbanded ages ago. You can't buy any of their works anywhere and you can't stream their music. So without piracy, the music would have been gone forever and their legacy would have been lost to time. Like, seriously, have a listen. To summarize, we have two groups. One wants to take down piracy so all the respective creators could get their well-deserved paycheck. The other wants to fight every single Toho content before they get taken down. They also want to archive them so they won't be lost forever. But let's be honest, they just don't want to pay. That's pretty much both sides of the war. I'll tell you what I think. I think the end goal of the copyright procedures are noble. Creators should get paid for their work. However, they really shouldn't take down the work that aren't accessible. Oh, one thing I almost forgot to mention. The Muir and Pites really hate the virtue signaling and them talking about morality and such. So they just want to piss them off. Massive trolls. They do a little bit of trolling. Pretty key. This is probably going to be my last video about this matter. Unless Maria Shrine recovers and a new website called Hakuri Shrine is created. And the trainer recreate Toho 10 but instead of fighting with Dan Maku and spell cards. They're fighting with legal documents and walls of text. That's pretty much everything I want to say. Thanks.